So this is essentially a Mauser fire holster that is um, that that is used for the spaff. All I did was give it one more loop so that I can put a spaff on there. So I mean, I could sit here and there it is. It is a little light. I do have to give it a little bit more magnetic draw. But I mean, even from here, I can sit here. I can go into my ammo pouch, my cargo pants. Oh, I already have that one. No, oh, that just that just sucks for you, doesn't it? <laughs> I missed on purpose. I didn't want to knock the phone over for. But yeah, I can sit here. I can reach in my cargo pants. And I could just Oh, I'm running low on ammo on my spam. Well, I just gotta look and pull the top here and load into here and all of a sudden you got problems. Yeah. Oop, whoops, we don't want to knock the glue over. Huh. But you can see. Yeah, so that, that works really well. Um a really good setup. A little weak. I, I need to I need to give it a little more magnets. Make sure your magnets are at least 2600 gauss because if it's not 2600 like these are only like 1400 and it can hold it but running around the field you really need like 2600 the other nice thing about this is that i can do this let's say i want to really quickly change my loadout but i don't want to go through my whole you know belt loop and change out like every single all my holsters and everything and I want to switch to a Mauser or something like this happens or whatever. I, I now got the Mauser fire. I got that too, you know? So, right. He got me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's really cool for loadouts too. So now, I can take all three of my, uh, my Mausers which is my spats and my two Mauser fires, and I can put them on this loop. I just put them in here. Easy peasy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I'm going to do a build video on the, on these holsters. It's not that hard. If you saw the Pigeon one, um, it's not that hard. The Pigeon one, I described the basic principles of doing the holsters, but I am going to do one for the spats and the Mauser fire because it's all the only difference is the spacing of the magnet on the top loop that's it i'm really pleasantly happy that that's all it took for this because i really thought it was going to be a lot more involved but this morning when i took this off i saw that the, the distance wasn't that bad it, you, you just needed one more and that was it you know so yeah i see so this is really cool i now got three mausers i got one that's a light loadout mauser um, more for HVZs and stuff. I got one that's medium. That's um, that's the blue one. Uh, and I got one that's heavy duty. That's the original uh, Mauser Fire. The very first one that was made. The one that sold the whole Katana idea. Uh, the one that sold the original Archer idea. But huh, who wants to build an Archer when you've spent so much money on Aceta and designing it? And, um, well, one of these can kill Aceta. That's had kind of a large tube on it. Oh yeah, why would we want to do that? It's a wonder, isn't it? But that's politics, what can you do? So until next time, this is Chris Cartea saying don't you go cheating, or I'll freaking find you. <laughs> Eat foam dead.